imagine that you want to create your own DQMH module templates. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a DQMH module template here that all we did was change the color of the front panel for the tester and for the main BI on the DQMH module we also changed the front panel color but also changed the block diagram color and added instead of using a cluster for the local data we are using an object, a class. So now that you have your project, oh, and by the way, this project gets installed with your DQMH. If we do here an explore, you're going to find that this particular example is in the examples folder within Delacore, Delacore DQMH, DQMH template example. We have it there so you can practice before creating your own DQMH module template. So we go to tools, Delacore, DQMH module, create DQMH module template. And the scripting tools are going to do everything for us. They're going to be creating all the files we need. So we get this wizard, and the first thing we need to say is where is the module library that we want to convert into a template? We tell where it's at. We give it a description. This description is what it's going to be listed whenever you select this template among all the different templates that you're going to have options to do. For the location, you could say current path. These will be useful if you're using SVN externals, sub-repositories, or sub-modules on your source code control, and you need to have your module template be relative to your project. But the most common approach is just to do it in Labi data. You can type whatever relative location you want there. Uh, in our case, it's Delacor. You could put your organization name. It will tell you where is it that the XML file and the source files for your module are going to be saved? If you agree with this, then you just click yes. The default, like we said, is lab data. So now we are going to go and say OK, and we are going to verify that it actually saved it where it said it would. And if we go to our lab data and on metadata, we do edit notepad. Uh, plus plus to see the contents of the XML file and sure enough everything that we just enter is there. We could have also used uh, Microsoft applications called XML Notepad and XML Notepad is just easier to read and it shows you the different uh, items on your XML file. So let's use it. Let's go to Delacor DQMH module, add new DQMH module. And now, instead of only having the option of selecting between singleton and clonable, you're going to have that new module template that we added, which is the DQMH template example. And of course, if you had added more, you would have them listed there. The description is there right underneath our module type. And you can do the typical stuff that you do with DQMH modules, like changing your icon and changing the name of the module and clicking OK. So that created our module and we got our tester with its uh, different front panel color. The main BI has a different front panel color and the block diagram includes the class instead of the cluster. So we created a new module based on the module template that we just saved. Some of the things that cr uh, the creating module from template does is renaming the module name. So the private module name now has the name of the DQMH module instead of preserving the name it had when it was uh, the template. This renaming also happens when you go to Delacor DQMH module, rename DQMH module. One of the things that gets renamed is the module name. So let's create a new one. Let's go to Tools, Delacor DQMH module, and new DQMH module. And we're going to call this one Hello World module, and we're going to use the same module template that we just created. So that's creating, going to create a new module. And when I go to the private, I will see that the module name is indeed now Hello World because it copied, uh, it got renamed to the name of the DQMH module. And of course, it has different colors and it has the class. If I say show class library, you'll see that the library itself or the class, it's within my DQMH module. And each one of the DQMH module has its own object. So if I look at, the, uh, at all the BIs here and I do an explore, I will see that the folder includes all the files in there. You could also have included a folder and it would have preserved the hierarchy. The main point to remember here is that when you're creating a DQMH module from template, you need to have all the files 
that are dependent for your uh, library within the library itself, and this could be other libraries, or and within disk. If you need two DKMH modules that depend on each other, then create a project template instead. Thank you.